Hello everyone, my name is Brant Kodrowski and this Organic Chemistry Lab video covers SN2 competition experiments, testing the effects of substitution and leaving group on rate. This is part 3, GC analysis of the SN2 reaction mixtures. The injection port for the GC is on the top of the instrument. Push the needle through the septum in the injector port until it bottoms out, then press the plunger down to inject the sample. Then press start on the GC instrument as shown here. Press the start button on the software to get the data station collecting data. You can see here the temperature ramping up, and here there's a chromatogram trace drawing out on the screen. The first peak to elute will be the solvent. In our case our solvent was acetone, and there it is as a large off-scale peak. Analyte peaks come out later. There's a small one. There's another analyte peak. When the trace has reached the end, the run is done. Through Logger Pro, we can manipulate the data by zooming in on regions to see the peaks a little bit better. We can select peaks by dragging and dropping, and we can ask the software to tell us retention times and integration values. We can do this for all the peaks, and then we'll have a measure of the ratios of the areas to determine the relative amounts of materials. These operations are all described in another video that's available online, so you might want to take a look at that later to get the details of Logger Pro use. This is a chromatogram of the standards mixture contains all five alkyl halides that are present in this week's experiment. They elute in order of boiling point. Lower boiling alkyl halides elute first, followed by higher boiling. The lowest boiling alkyl halide would be the first peak. The highest boiling alkyl halide would be the last peak. You can identify the peaks according to boiling point. Once you know which ones are which, these retention times will help you identify the peaks in subsequent chromatograms. This chromatogram is for the first reaction that contains a mixture of 1-chlorobutane and 1-bromobutane as well as SN2 products. You can compare the retention times on this chromatogram to the retention times in the standard mixture to figure out which of these peaks is which. Once you have that, you can look at their integration values to determine the size of each peak which correlates to the amount of each material. With the information in this chromatogram, you can determine which alkyl halide, the chloride or the bromide, was more abundant in the reaction mixture. With that, you can determine which leaving group, chloride or bromide, is better. Similarly, you can identify these peaks in reaction 2 based on their retention times by comparing these numbers to the retention times in the standards mixture. Once you know which peaks are which, then you can look at their integration values to determine the size of the peaks. With the integration information in this chromatogram, you can determine which substrate, secondary or primary, is a better substrate for SN2 substitution. 